This quick tutorial will show you how to speed up your Windows 10 for free and without using any third-party programs. So let's begin. Step number one, power option. Just go to your start menu and search power option. Now click on edit power plan from the result. Now go to the power option and change it to high performance. Now you can close the power option. Go back to the start menu and search power and sleep. Click on the power and sleep settings from the result. Now drag the slider all the way to best performance and close the window. Step number two, disable unwanted startup programs. Open your task manager. The easiest way to do that is to right click on any empty space on your taskbar and choose task manager from here. Now go to startup. Here you'll find all the programs that starts up automatically every time your system starts and it will keep running in the background forever, which does impact your system performance. If there are programs you don't use much, they probably don't need to start every time Windows do. Identify any unwanted or program you don't use on a daily basis. Simply select and disable them one by one, which will significantly improve your system performance and boot time. Once you do, you can close the task manager. Step number three, defragment and optimize drives. Go to your start menu and search defragment. Now click on defragment and optimize drives from the result. That will open this window. From here, select your system drive or C drive. Now click analyze, let it analyze the drive, then click optimize. It will optimize your system drive to perform better. Once it is over, you can close the window. Step number four, delete unnecessary temporary files. Head over to your start button and right click on it. Choose run from the menu and type in percentage, temp percentage. Once you do, click OK. If it asks for permission, click continue, which will reveal this folder, select everything in it and hit delete. Don't worry, it's just temporary files. Now open the run box again, as same as we did before, and this time type in temp. If asked, give permission to access the folder. And as we did before, select everything in it and hit delete. Now we need to open the run box for one last time. This time type in prefetch, click OK and click continue if asked. As you guessed, select everything in the folder and hit delete. Once you do, close the folder. Step number five. Clean up memory. Go to your file explorer, right click on your C drive and choose properties from here. On the general tab, you'll find the disk cleanup option. Click on it. Now click the clean up system files button that will scan your C drive for every unwanted or junk file. Once the scanning is finished, choose every category of unwanted files and click OK. It will ask you to confirm your choice, so click the delete files button. Don't worry, it will only delete every unwanted or unnecessary files from your system. Once it is finished the cleaning process, you can close it. Step number six, reduce runtime services. Head over to your start button and right click on it. Choose run from the menu and type in msconfig. Click OK and that will open the system configuration. From here, go to the services tab and check the box hide all the Microsoft services which is really important, I don't want you to stop anything important accidentally. Also, I recommend you to avoid disabling anything from Intel, AMD and Nvidia. Look through the menu and disable any services from unwanted or rarely using programs. To disable a service, just uncheck it from the list. Once you made your choice, click apply then OK. It will ask you to restart your system, you can do that or choose the exit without restart option. Step number 7. Registry tweaks. For this step, we are going to tweak some of the settings on your Windows registry to speed up your Windows 10. Go to your start button, right click on it and choose run from the menu. Now type in reg edit and click OK. This will open the registry editor. Now head over to the following location. H key current user, control panel, then mouse. Now inside the mouse folder, find this particular string called mouse hard time. Just double click to open. The default value data would be 400. Let's change that to 10, which is 10 milliseconds, which will make your mouse pointer much more responsive. Now click OK to save the new value. 
Now go to the desktop folder and find another string called menu show delay. Double click on it and change the default value from 400 milliseconds to 10. Click OK to save the settings. And you can close the registry. To experience most of the new changes in action, you should restart your system. Don't worry, let's do that later. Step number 8. Visual effects. In this final step, we are going to disable some of the Windows 10 UI visual effects to boost your system performance. Please note it won't affect your gaming or other application graphics. It will only reduce graphical resources used by your Windows 10 OS to look good, which in other words will free up a good amount of system resources to run demanding application more smoothly. Or let's say it can improve your system performance to the maximum. If you don't like it, you can always change it back to normal. The final decision is up to you. For the sake of the video and for the sake of whomever need that extra performance, I will show you how to do it. Go to your start menu and search View Advanced System. Click on View Advanced System Settings from the result. Once you are here, go to the Advanced tab and click on the Settings button under the Performance section. What you're just seeing is the settings that basically everything what makes your windows beautiful. Choose the option adjust for best performance, click apply then ok to save the changes. And that's pretty much all you need to do here. I only recommend doing this if you want the extreme performance that is possible by your machine. Now let's take a proper system restart. And that's it. That's how you can speed up your windows 10 for free and without using any third party programs. Hope you like the video, if you do, please consider hitting that like button. Subscribe to our channel for more amazing content and share the video if you found it helpful. Please comment your experience with this video, it will help more people to figure out if this video is useful or not. This is your host Amal Rafiq, see you soon with another one.